guys. It has been a hot minute since I've done anything on my YouTube channel, but I'm so excited to get it started back up and all because, I don't know if you can see, but I am very pregnant right now. I am excited to share this journey with you though. And so since I am nearing the end of my pregnancy, I wanted to just share, even though it is my first pregnancy, I wanted to share just some things that have helped me um, especially since I knew nothing going into this and, um, it's been YouTube videos that helped me find some of these products that have really made this pregnancy a whole lot easier. So let's go ahead and jump into the top five things. I'm actually going to do six, but really five things that have helped me during this time. So the first thing that I'm going to show you, it's really two things, but, um, they do the same purpose. So this is the blankie tank top my friend Aaron told me about it and I don't know if you can see how it has the support it has I mean it gives you a lot of support around the edges and then at the bottom it's almost like a support band that wraps around your stomach and so it gives you a lot of support while you're wearing it and so I would wear this while I was working underneath anything I was wearing um, and it definitely helped support my back a lot the entire back has that same um, like lining that same stretchiness for what is goes under your stomach and over your stomach to really help hold your belly in place and hold everything together. But along with that, you can tell I've definitely worn this one a lot. Um, this is the belly band. So this goes under your stomach, wraps around, and then um, this will go. And I like that it even has instructions. So it says like up right there and this will go around your back and attach to the other part of the band and then it has this that will go over the top of your stomach and it really helps hold you in place too so I wear that on um, some of the really really long days where the blankie tank I wear um, on long days that I'm working but the belly band definitely gives you a lot of support and I could really tell a difference in my back whenever I was wearing that belly band or the blankie tank. Um, so this is definitely number one recommendation, get you some support. The second thing I would recommend is a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> and I think that's the pretty obvious one that everyone um, always looks forward to getting. And so my mom got me this one and I loved it, um, love it, not loved. Anyways, um, it is foam on the inside, so it says it takes 24 to 48 hours for it to expand, but it really didn't take that long. Um, but it has been wonderful. I sleep with it every single night. So I take this with me everywhere though. Um, it definitely helps. And especially since I have had morning sickness, literally the entire pregnancy i'm in my third trimester and i still get morning sickness so for it's at night i've never really actually gotten sick in the morning usually starts around this time which i am filming this around 5 p.m so it starts usually around this time and goes all throughout the night and so this is really nice because sometimes i'll either prop this up so i'll have it like this or i can put this behind me and help raise my head up a little bit more. So um, this pillow has been great. I'll put the link to this one down below. She got it off of Amazon. Um, so yeah, pregnancy pillow, must have. And like I just mentioned, uh, I have had morning sickness the entire time. And I also have become anemic during my pregnancy, which is pretty common. So the number, even though I said the belly band and all that's number one, if you have a friend that's pregnant, I highly recommend getting a shaved ice maker. So this is what my parents got me for Christmas, one of the Christmas gifts, and hands down has been the best thing. I use this thing probably three or four times a day because that's all I've wanted to eat during. I mean, I definitely now am starting to get an appetite now that I'm taking some nausea medicine and some stuff, but um, for a while, that's all that sounded good to me was shaved ice or mashed potatoes, <laughs> nothing else. Um, so I would use this all the time and you just put the ice in the top 
put that on and as you, you push down and, and you crank. Uh, my watch always thinks that I'm getting a workout from cranking this because I'm cranking so much ice. So highly recommend this or this Primate CT. Um, it has also really helped with nausea. This um, this is third trimester tea that I have right here because this is the one that I'm currently drinking and I'll show y'all because I'll just make some tea after this. Um, so it comes in individual packets, but I love that each of these have a, I just ripped it. So each of them have a little note. I don't know if you can, can't get to focus, but yeah, each of them have a little note. So this one says, put quickly, learn to roll with it on your resume. It's a skill. So, um, I, I find a lot of humor in the little things that are on there. The one I had this morning said, uh, it had to do with being hormonal, which at this point in pregnancy, I, I don't know why it thinks that I'm hormonal or something. I'm not, I'm not hormonal at all. So I, I found a lot of humor in that one too. So I really like that pregnancy tea. It definitely makes me feel a whole lot better. Um, I usually have it at night or sometimes in the morning, but uh, really enjoy that pregnancy tea. And I'll link the one, um, the ones that I've had down below, plus some candies that I've had that are kind of like hard candy that have helped me get through um, a lot of the sickness. So don't forget the shaved ice maker. It's a game changer. And then the fifth thing that I'm going to show you is this one is it's a hit or miss for people I've seen on YouTube videos. It was definitely a hit for me. Um, I am a worry wart. I can thank my mom for that. And she got it from my nanny. It just runs in the family to um, overthink and worry about things. And if my doctor were to see this, he is the exact opposite of me. He is, gives me a lot of tough love. So um, he's probably happy that I have this at home too. So even though a lot of people have a hard time recommending it because sometimes, I mean, you never know. It's a at home heartbeat monitor. So it, yes, it can have its, um, its faults and flaws. And, but I really enjoy it because I'd rather have a false alarm versus not knowing. And so I, whenever I'm uh, in one of my worry moments, I can just get this out and I, my hand sanitizer right here. Cause I mean, pandemic, everyone's got some hand sanitizer probably laying around. So you just need some gel um, and you just put it on your stomach and you can listen to your baby's heartbeat whenever you want. It's very similar. I'll get it out so you can see what it looks like. Just takes AA batteries. And I love it um, because it, I mean, for example, the other night it was like three in the morning and I'm having one of my panic attacks that something's wrong because I'm having some pains and I was able to listen to her heartbeat. I was able to see that right then and there at three in the morning instead of blowing up the portal, the My Health app. And um, so it's been really great to have this, especially since I worry all the time about anything and everything so i highly recommend because like i said i'd rather have a false alarm and everything be perfectly fine versus not knowing and something actually being wrong so i really like this one and i'll put the link for it down below got it off of amazon so like i said i mean i've really shown one two three four five six things already even though some of them are really for dual purpose and you can use both or like I do or either either or but really five different I guess topics or um, subjects for things that are helpful during pregnancy and this is the sixth one though the sixth topic or subject that I'm going to share because not everyone has to deal with it but I have had sciatica and especially here lately it's gotten worse um, probably because she's getting bigger so she's weighing on that nerve a lot more. So uh, these are some things that I've had really since week 15 that at first, this is the one that um, my mom actually got me this spray. So this spray has been great. It's a magnesium, magnesium body mist and you just spray it on your leg and it really helps with that um, because it felt, it literally felt like my ACL was tearing. And 
I would wake up in the middle of the night or um, taking a nap on the couch and I literally couldn't get up unless I had help. So um, it has been very, very helpful getting this spray. Um, and it is the Pink Stork Magnesium Body Spray. Put the link down below. And I actually use the Pink Stork um, Gummy Prenatals because I couldn't take the prenatals that he prescribed me or even those um, prenatals that you can get just over the counter. Um, like I said, been very, very sick the entire pregnancy. So finding a prenatal that worked for me was, um, it was a task, but these pink stork ones were a winner. So I'll link those prenatals down below as well. And they taste really good too. So um, this magnesium spray and Whenever I was signing up for all of the freebies, because I didn't realize that was a thing, how many freebies you get. Um, but when I was signing up for the freebies, I saw the bump boxes, um, which I love me a FabFitFun type subscription thing. And the bump boxes, you get your first one free. And I think you get four total. But this one came in my first bump box that came for free. And it's basically the same thing as this spray. It's just a cooling leg gel. And it's the Canoe Mother. So I'll put both of these up here so you can see them. Um, and so I usually keep this one in my backpack. So I have it whenever I'm on the go. And the gel I keep by my bedside. So if my legs are doing that and I wake up and it's um, not the most pleasant feeling, I'll put this gel on. And uh, it smells like, both of them kind of really smell like Icy Hot. So it's also really relaxing. So these would be, since not everyone has to do a sciatica, um, added in a sixth one because the top five, I feel like anyone and everyone could use, but this sixth one has definitely helped me with the sciatica. So yeah, those are the products I would highly recommend. Again, no expert. This is my first pregnancy, but um, I am towards the end. I'm in the end of, I'd say I'm in the middle of the third trimester and I am very, very excited. And these have definitely helped make things a whole lot easier, especially whenever getting sick three to five times a day. Um, so, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that some of these products help you out as well. If, if they did help you comment down below, I'd love to hear if um, they helped you as well. And if you end up trying them and you like them or, or don't like them or know something better um, so we can all help each other out and subscribe because I plan on doing some more videos. Uh, I, as you can see behind me, the nursery is definitely not set up yet. Um, I just had a baby shower not that long ago whenever I'm filming this. So still have a lot to do in the nursery. So be seeing some, you'll be seeing some, some, wow, some <laughs> nest with me videos here soon. So subscribe, like, and like I said, comment if you've used some of these products or if you end up trying some of these products, I'd love to hear if you like them or not. Uh, but yeah, really excited to share this journey with you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.